Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm narrating the 5K that I just ran on the Lakefront Trail in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome back to the Fresh Brew Run Club. So today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So this past weekend, I ran my second 5K of my spring 5K season. And instead of just showing some various random clips uh, set to some music, I'm just going to take you through the actual race uh, thanks to the footage that my wife was able to capture as I was running the race in Chicago. So join me on this journey as I look to run 5,000 meters on Chicago's beautiful lakefront trail. All right, so I just wanna give a special shout out to my wife who recorded uh, the, the whole run uh, from a Divi bike, which is like a, a rental bike in Chicago. There are some problems that, that can arise when riding a, a heavy rental bike on a busy Chicago trail, especially when you go on the part of the trail that is meant for runners only. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, as you can see right there, the bike just completely crashed on the ground. Um, so anyway, back to the run. So this is kind of my typical warm up. I don't stretch, I do a dynamic warm up. Um, the, the science at this point is pretty much settled. Um, dynamic warm ups are much better than stretching. This is my little warm up jog as I'm trying to figure out where is a good place to start. Didn't exactly plan this uh, super well as far as the logistics of the actual race, but um, got a little lost right there, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it also had just rained and the weather will be a factor later in the video, I'll talk about that. So there were some puddles uh, to avoid, but you know, no worries, I, I'm very agile uh, and was able to avoid it. So now getting to the getting to the start, I, I did a, I think just over a half mile run, probably a little bit more uh, to warm up. Um, picked this place to start, basically randomly. Um, and I'm off. So one of the things that I've been working on is not starting too fast. And uh, in this case, I started too fast. So my goal was to run a 5.57 uh, first mile. And I think I ran something like a 5.44, um, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but it just kind of messes everything up. So um, I also went a little bit too fast at the start for uh, my wife to even keep up with me. But um, got back on track, so I'm feeling good at this point. Uh, you know, this is still the first mile. My form looks pretty good. Um, I know I'm going too fast at this point, but there's just this like mental block that you have to overcome and just tell yourself it's okay to slow down because your brain is telling you absolutely do not slow down. That's a bad thing, especially in a, in a, a race that you're trying to run, but you have to listen to your watch and actually slow down, which is something that I didn't do. So um, a little bit busy on the trail today. I mean, it was a, a beautiful Saturday morning, Memorial Day weekend. So um, a decent amount of people out. Um, now we're getting uh, by the, the harbor area. So you'll notice there's a lot of trees and boats and things that are kind of shielding me from the lake, which is on the left, Lake Michigan, um, a, a really big lake if you're unfamiliar with it. So at this point, the weather is pretty calm for my first mile. So I'm feeling pretty good, although I have this sinking suspicion that I'm actually running a little too fast at this point. You can actually see the American flag there, how, how much it's blowing uh, in the breeze. So the wind was coming off the lake. It was coming from the east, I believe. I was hoping it was gonna come from the north, kind of push me as I ran south, uh, but that was not the case uh, at all. Um, I didn't get passed by anyone, which is kind of nice. You'd be passing someone, you know, makes you feel good. A little, little confidence boost as you, you blow by someone uh, like I just did right there. Um, now it's starting to get a little little twisty and a little turn turny. And every time I kind of angle to the left, that means I'm running basically into the wind. And this is where I first started to feel it. Like I had run a mile and it was like that was too fast. I'm kind of in trouble and you can see here the tree cover is really starting to uh, starting to go away and you're just kind of 
faced with the, the open water, the wind just blowing right off the water, um, right into, into my left side. And then when you kind of angle towards the lake, then you're essentially running against the wind a little bit, which makes things a lot more challenging. So, um, you know, really wide open here, uh, you know, the wind is, is definitely a factor and I'm feeling it. And this is kind of like a, a, a crucial moment in, in the race when it's like things are not going well and you have a decision to make. Do you just say, you know what, it's not my day and just back off and give up? Or do you say, I'm going to try to salvage this and, and, you know, try to try to run hard towards the end. Um, here's my wife almost falling off the bike. Um, fortunately she did not, but I made the decision to, to try and, and push through. Um, I traveled all the way to Chicago. I didn't want to just chalk it up as a, a bad day, like the previous 5k that I did. So check out that video. But, um, you know, I said, I'm going to try to get it together. So I had my, my half mile of, of struggle where I was in the, like the 630, 640 range, um, pace wise per mile. And, and now I'm starting to, to pick it up a little bit. Um, you know, just getting down like 630, 625, 620, um, the question is, can I sustain it for another mile and a half? We'll see. This part was really difficult. Like you're out really close to the lake and angling more towards the lake where the wind is like kind of blowing uh, right in your face. Fortunately, you angle in. Um, nice view of the skyline here. I love the Chicago skyline. I don't remember seeing the Chicago skyline. When I was running cross country, people would cheer for me. My dad had a megaphone that in high school he would, he would use and yell my name. I blurred all that out. Like, I don't remember anything. So if you've ever gone to a race to cheer me on and I didn't acknowledge you, it's don't take it personally. I just have like tuned everything out. Um, so, you know, uh, getting towards the end of the run, I think I'm in the last mile at this point, which again, a 5k is 3.1 miles. Um, so on the home stretch here, you can see the, the actual waves. They put up these barriers because like the water level is so high, but the wind was so bad. They closed the beaches. Um, and you can see just how high these waves are. I think that at the day before they were like 10 foot waves and this is like Michigan. This is not the Pacific ocean. This is a, just an inland freshwater lake. Um, you know, it, it was, it was extremely windy. Um, the path right here is awesome. Like it's freshly paved, um, just a, a great place to run, but that wind is brutal and, you know, trying to fight through that is it is tough, um, especially while you're trying to maintain your pace and, and not uh, completely run out of gas there. So um, yeah, this is, I'm getting towards the end, definitely uh, probably about a half mile to go at this point, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, I was running a good pace, maybe six, 10, a little, maybe a little bit faster. I'm trying to get down to six minutes. You can see the wind blowing there on the flag. Um, gets a little crowded as you get closer to downtown, but you know, it wasn't too big of a deal. People were pretty mindful um, of, of other runners. One of the issues here, you can see the sand is starting to build up. Um, it just gets blown right off the beach and onto the path despite the barrier. So, um, you know, you don't have the greatest traction in the world, but it was also nice, like a little bit softer. So, um, yeah, coming up on the home stretch here and then I finished um, basically on the, the sandy beach here. That's pretty good. We're in 1850. that was the run. I think I, I said it was uh, 1850. Um, my actual pace was closer to 1843 once I adjusted the actual distance on, on Strava and, and Nike afterwards. So um, I wanted to run an 1830. I didn't exactly hit that goal, but 1843, considering the conditions, considering the fact that I slept in a hotel room, I didn't get the best night's sleep. Um, you know, you're kind of out of your element. Like Normally you just get up and, and go for a run, but you know, in the hotel, I had to go figure out the coffee situation, had to go get in a lift and drive to the beach and figure out where to start. And there was the wind and the, the people that were, you know, kind of crowding the path. So there's a lot of things that I think um, contributed to definitely 
me running 13 seconds slower than I would have wanted to, but all in all, like I'm pretty happy with this. It is progress. Um, it's definitely faster than, than what I ran before, which was about in 1948, I think 1949, something like that. Uh, when my first 5k complete disaster, this one was much better. Um, great place to run. I, I'm going to do a full review of the Lakefront Trail um, in, in my next video, so stay tuned for that. But great place to run. Um, pretty flat. Uh, it's just the, the wind coming off the lake, which I guess normally the wind does come from the north um, a little bit more than it did, but it was just a high wind day. So nothing you can really do about that. I'm happy with, with how things turned out. Again, this is the second 5k of the season. I have decided I am going to run four 5ks. Initially, my training plan was for three, um, but I want to tack on another one at the end. Cause I, I feel like I'm making some gains in my training and I don't want to just stop running in two weeks when my third and what was supposed to be my final 5k uh, it kicks off. So I'm going to do two more. My next one is going to be on the track. So I made a video about that. I have decided to, to actually run on the track, um, to kind of control the conditions a little bit more. So, you know, I'm not going to run on a busy trail, uh, next to a lake where there's a wind advisory. I'm just going to run on a, on a nice forgiving surface that is accurately measured. So that'll be in two weeks, but overall, you know, I feel pretty good. Had a blast out in Chicago. Like it, it was really kind of the first weekend I felt things were getting back to normal. So it was just great to see people out. Great to, you know, get out in the sun and, and out in, in nature, even though it was super windy, but I had a lot of fun. So I'm going to do another video just talking about the Lakefront Trail, which is one of my favorite places to run. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss that. But thanks for watching. Yeah. And I'll be back with a new video soon.